Hi everyone, I'm Marina on the product team here at Notion and I'm here to introduce Notion 2.33 with our second ever video release. I really hope you enjoy it. Hey, I'm Dan from the Project Management Features team. Our team has received hundreds of letters from folks asking for the ability to create automations on databases. We listened and we just released database automations. When building an automation, you'll need to choose a trigger, like when a task is marked as urgent, and an action, like assign it to Alex. Save it and then you're good to go. Start putting Notion to work for you. Hi, I'm Steven. I'm an engineer working on databases at Notion. We just shipped the new Formulas 2.0 update, which makes it easier to edit formulas, use powerful functions, and get rich formatted outputs. We hope you enjoy using the new and improved formula language. Hello, this is Lou, and I built the AI translate on database feature. Uh, I built it so your coworkers and clients from all over the world, speaking different languages, can all use the same database. And maybe you can use it to pick up a new language in your personal time too. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Jake. We got to collab on a really cool quality of life feature. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called Frozen Columns. It makes it easy to use databases with lots of properties. So check it out and let us know what you think. Notion's new universal importer allows you to bulk import HTML, a CSV, or even a markdown. Plus, we've also improved our importers for both Evernote and Trello. One thing I love is that the Notion team always makes time to improve on the small features across Notion. Um, this example is called Wrap All Properties in the Board and Gallery Layouts for a Database. Something so small and simple can make um, everything look more organized and really just contribute to your day-to-day -day workflow. Pretty excited to share this with y'all. Buttons are a great way to create a page in a database. Now, when setting up your button, you can choose a database template to apply when creating your page. Use dynamic references like add noun and add today and date properties and add me and people properties within the database template. Now you can set your time zone to default to your location. Or you can change it manually by going to settings and members and then my settings. Hello, my name is Tyrus. I'm an engineer at Notion and recently had the opportunity to work on a small quality of life feature. Now when selecting the three dot menu or hitting command slash, there will now be a button to generically format code for a handful of supported programming languages such as TypeScript, SQL, JSON, and Rust.